a team that I thought maybe would be higher on this list. Dolphins. Where are plus they ranked? Yeah, total so they here. are what one, two, three, six? four, five, six. Mm. I think that's low. Yeah. I think that's a little low. We'll see when we get to the teams ahead of them. As we mentioned before, the AFC is stacked. So uh, maybe no shame in being sixth best to win the AFC, but your players to watch for the team in South Beach. It's low to me. I'll just say that. Low to me for what I would say is a top three ros- top five roster in football for sure. I almost want to say top two or three. Yeah. That's where I, I don't – this is the easy one here for me. It's the O-line. We know that. Oh, no. Don't pick a whole another position. Group it's again. the whole O-line. <laughs> All 15 guys on the roster. No, it's, it's uh, the right tackle, Austin Jackson. I think this is an obvious one. No, you, this is another team you look at and you go, w- w- what's not to like about this position or that position or this position? I mean, they're all yeah. freaking awesome. The only thing we question and what we need to watch, one, because we know they'd like to run the ball a little bit more, right? Mike McDaniels has said that throughout the offseason. It's, you know, again, predicated in the Shanahan offense. He got two pass happy last year. We have a quarterback with a concussion this year. Right. And we got some people and in Austin Jackson, who was a first round pick, who has not lived up to that. And, you know, me, my thing is always follow the money, follow the assets. Right. Those things have to be performing for your team. Yeah. Here's one that's not. So can he hold it down at right tackle here? Can he show that he is truly going to be one of their tackles for a long, long time? It's, it's him, Liam Eichenberg, and another one in the guard position. Right. But that, that it's offensive line related. And those two are the two that you look at to go, they have the most to improve. But uh, specifically, Austin Jackson's the guy I'm looking at, especially if you want to hit two, I mean, uh, Tyreek, you know, deep down the field and Jalen Waddell deep down the yeah. field, two in needs time. And if I remember correctly, so Austin Jackson, a first round pick out of USC, you were not too thrilled with his tape out of college. I was not. And, and, and you know, it, it was a tough one, too, because the, the, the year before his last year in college, he gave his. I want to say a bone marrow transplant uh-huh. and really took a lot from his body. So he was one of those where I was like, man, the tape's not that great, but I know he's been through a lot here and maybe this isn't his best stuff, hmm. but we've not just, we've yet to see him kind of get to his best stuff. And hopefully this is the year, the big butt to watch for me. I'm going to go Christian Wilkins. Yeah. You know, just, he's I'm not going to, he's not going to play. Yeah, and I love him. And so that's why I'm going to pick him. So, I, but I want to watch him specifically because I want to see how he reacts to this whole thing, this off season, this training camp, because Quinn and Williams just got paid uh-huh. four year, $96 million extension, yep. same draft class as Christian Wilkins. Yep. Uh, and then they asked him about this Wilkins and he goes uh, on getting paid. He goes, I just love it for the evolution of the game and how far we've come as a position. I'm a big fan of respecting the game. So it's my job to carry that torch for those Warren Saps, Vince Wilforks, all those guys I grew up watching and learning from. I have a respect responsibility so I'm watching more of how this contract negotiation goes with with uh, one of the the best if not the best defensive tackles in, in football right now he's awesome you know he he deserves to be paid here at some point and you know he didn't have as good a year as Quinn and Williams did last year it was yeah. a special year but he's in that conversation with all those guys for my money let alone he does all the right things and leading the team he hustles all of that right uh, so I would think he's going to get something in their ballpark, ballpark at, at, at some point during the season. Yo, yo, thanks for watching, homies. I appreciate it. As always, the NFL season is right around the corner, so now it's your turn to hit subscribe to Chris Sims Unbutton. If you want to get all the training camp battles, preseason film review, playoff predictions, and much, much more, you know where to find it. It's right here, Chris Sims Unbutton. Please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.